Are Asian guys now finally getting back at Asian girls on social media? Let's take a look. Yeah, let's run the clip. What race has the most attractive girls? Is that even a question? What? Yeah, what is it? What do you think? Uh, Asian. Hell no. Ooh. Wait, what? What you like? I like Caucasian, bro. What kind of Caucasian? Anything white, bro. What are you? I mean, I'm Asian. What kind of Asian? The tall Asian, not the short Asian. Are you Vietnamese? I'm Chinese. What race has the most attractive girls? White girls. I love snow bunnies and brunettes. Why? Have pretty eyes, have pretty hair. Gets my attention the most. What are you? I'm a Filipino. You don't love your own race? I do, actually. Kind of whitewash. I like Asians too. Oh, man. You know, I don't know if this video was trolling. Was it exaggerated? Was it completely fake? Or maybe it was authentic. I tend to think it was one of the former. But uh, it sparked a lot of comments. So we're going to get into our thoughts on it. And, of course, the fiery internet storm that it sparked so make sure you like subscribe and turn on your notifications andrew but you know what else is stirring up a storm small la sauce goes delicious on everything very spicy mala tasty aromatic check it out smallasauce.com um first off i want to say this i got to give a shout out to tommy tan boy okay uh -huh. for creating this content is it exactly how i would do it is it uh you know have some moments that are way better than others yes but i guess Part of me just likes that he's doing something. He's just agitating things. I'm not saying he's, when you agitate things, people have a downside reaction, mm -hmm. they have an upside reaction, mm -hmm. they have a middle one, but it's like, does the Asian American community need more people who are not scared to just go out and ask questions? Yeah. Even ask, though these questions, they're trolly, right? Yeah, the questions are definitely pretty goofy and I don't know, obviously, I don't know if these two guys are real or they planted them or whatever, they staged it, but regardless, um, it's always funny to see real reactions. And I watched a lot of his other videos and definitely some of those are getting some real reactions. Those are real people answering. And he's running up to people at the parties just when they're just maybe, I don't even know if they always know what they're saying. It is interesting and funny. Uh, but anyways, guys, just... You can check out his channel. Yeah, I mean, I think the reason I like it is because it sort of reviews sort of this like average California Asian, Andrew. Because you mm. know how like Jubilee, it's like somebody who went to grad school and like, you know, poli sci Wants arguing. to be political. Right, right, right. That's and then sometimes Vice is like doing these documentaries and people got uh, are in the streets or like they got face tats or they're throwing up signs and stuff like that. That This is like sort of the middle overlooked AZN American, mm -hmm. right? That's true, yeah. Yeah, the one that would go to Arena LA the, or Arena, you know, back... The college kid. Yeah, you know what? We've interviewed people on the campus of UCLA, NYU, USC before. Too. People who know some Pilo and Tyga, some little Sage the Gemini songs. I mean, you know, I, I think that a lot of these people that they interview, Andrew, and we're going to run some of the other clips right now. What Asians has the most attractive guys? Ooh, Korean men. I Why? Like, oh, I like their little tukbukis. Tukbukis? What's that? <laughs> like their little... Tokokis, you know? No. You know what Tokoki is? No. It's like a little rice noodle, and that's what they look like. You like tiny? Mm -hmm. you, like, you like it small? Yeah, it's easy to eat. Oh, okay. What are you? I'm Taiwanese. What Asians has the most attractive guys? Japanese. Why? My most recent ex was Japanese. What do you like about him? His personality. I think personality matters more than okay. like physical looks. What are you? I'm Korean. I have like a thing for like Korean girls, and I have a really good personality. Oh. Yeah. Are you Japanese? I'm Vietnamese. Oh, okay. Does race matter? No, it doesn't. But also, I'm not looking for anything. What Asians has the most attractive guys? Korean. Why? They're just the food, the people, the okay. life. The life? They're just so fun. But every Asian, f*** it. Why are we just cutting it down to what's of Asian? Everyone, everyone's amazing. What are you? I'm Iranian. Dang. I haven't been with, I never, I've been with an Iranian girl before. You're welcome. Um, I'm here. What do you rate me from a scale from 1 to 10? It's not about looks. It's about personality, dogs. Yeah, look deeper. Dang, you're looking deep in my soul. <laughs> wow. What's your number? I'm from the base. So I'm a 510. What wow. Asians has the most attractive guys? Filipinos! Why? Because I'm Filipino! What Asians has the most attractive guys? Korean! Why? Because I'm Korean! What do you like about the Korean guys? They're so much better! What Asian has the most attractive guys? Koreans for sure! Why? They just got it down. They got it down. What are you? They got it down. I'm Chinese. What Asians has the most attractive guys? Vietnamese or Thai. Why? Because I met my first crush when I was 16 and he was Thai. He was really hot. Why Vietnamese guys? A guy I met from my frat, from okay. my school, and he was like such a red flag. What are you? I'm South Korean. I like South Korean women. They're very, very kind and sweet. Not not all of them. What do you rate me from a scale from 1 to 10? I'm Vietnamese. I got the name. Give me a 9. 
me out of spin. A seven. Can I get your number? No. <laughs> it's not good. Everything in life happens for a reason. Sometimes in life you get rejected, but you just gotta like shrug it off your shoulders. Yeah. And like find the next girl. Not everyone's your type. I'm well, sorry. it was really nice meeting you. I think a lot of these people, their primary social fishbowl is other Asians. Mm. So I think that that's what is interesting. That's funny, yeah. But uh, but I do think there's a lot of clout to be had here. This is the clout gang. Yeah, people will really say anything on video for clout, to be honest. Yeah. Um, Andrew, first off, first comment section, people who just hate this interview. They said this is the most embarrassing interview ever. These are the exact response responses I'd expect from Asians hanging out at Irvine Spectrum. He's rubbing his hands like a fly. They definitely do not pass the vibe check and even meaner ones. Basically, dude, why do all Asian Americans share one single collective personality on Instagram? Basically indicating that people are all trying to Maybe act like rice gum or something. Kind of like that. act like this uh, TikTok f boy, like yo, hi, ha ha, I'm Asian, but I'm not, and like I like white girls, snow bunnies, yeah. Are, are people sounds just, ridiculous? Are, I mean, that guy was acting ridiculous. He probably knows he's acting ridiculous, <laughs> yeah, right? But yeah, he, he probably know. likes acting ridiculous. To be honest, it's probably a combination of a lot of things. Somebody said Asian guys are just getting payback at Asian women at this point. Somebody said it is what it is. We didn't start the war. Uh, let's let's yeah. address the gorilla in the room. No, no, is... I know that this is a feeling amongst Asian guys that they like to see Asian guys deny Asian women publicly now because they feel like that for so many decades and years, Asian women were publicly denying Asian guys. Now, so uh, specifically for white men, right? Yeah, I can see why some Asian guys would try to do that. You're talking about the clapback. I don't, I don't know if the payback works, but whatever. I mean, you're these are. These are these own people being their own individual. So whatever, they can say what they want. Right, but the, these comments, I mean, these are real feelings. Yeah, 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 but I, I, don't, I don't think that they're straight up disrespecting Asian women on the level that they feel like Asian guys have been disrespected by Asian women in the past. Even though, guys, I'm not trying to equal one for one. I'm not trying to do all this stuff. This is too complicated. All right, here's the next comment. Uh, somebody said, white women are only attractive if they are the conservative types, not the liberal Joe Biden left-wing types. Ha ha. Okay, this is getting political, guys. You know us. I'm not supporting either party. That's but I'm funny. just saying that uh, it's interesting. I, I do think that a lot of the white women that Asian guys end up marrying are more left-leaning, though. On a statistical probability basis, if you made me bet, because I do know a Korean guy who's married to a like kind of a more school teacher version of Kate Middleton here in New York. So mm. I'm just saying, I don't know. She's really liberal. She's from rural Texas. I don't know. But then, you know, people like Megan Kelly, Kelly Ripa too. I don't know, man. It, it's tough to describe. Somebody said, if these were Asian girls, they'd be getting mad hate in the comments. And somebody said, uh, oh my gosh, so this is okay now after roasting Asian women for doing this for white guys after all this time. And this just turned into a back and forth argument. Of course, back right, to the- right. um, Not only Asian girls have internalized racism. Yeah, it's true. No, it's true. Asian guys can have internalized racism too, for sure. 100%. All right. Did Asian guys always have internalized, race, internalized racism, but they didn't have the leverage to act on it? Or- I guess what I'm saying is, let's say, for example, that the white worship was always there amongst all Asians, but one gender had more capacity to act on it. Is that the situation? Or is that, is that what people are trying to say? Or are people just trying to say, oh, now that you've got the leverage, you're defining this uh, newfound taste? Yeah, or just I don't, know. I don't know. It's hard to say. I think it's different, though. I think Asian guys always desired and wished that Asian women wanted them and desired them back the same amount. I think that's truly deep down in most Asian guys' hearts. That's what they wished. But some of them felt done, they were done wrong. Yeah. And they're a little bit scarred from that. And so they, in their mind, like to see some guy clapping back. Even Honestly, if, there, even there, if the clap back is fake. There were some comments saying, we're done waiting and we're done play, uh, not firing shots back. That's what somebody said. <laughs> Fine, it, I guess. I guess I don't is think it's gonna turn into the gender no, because in no, the no. African American internet community, you see men and women get at each other a lot. Yeah, it seems like that from the comment section. I don't think it's gonna get like that with the Asian guys and Asian girls. I think a lot of Asian girls don't care and are not gonna comment on this video because they're not gonna spend their energy clapping back at this guy. Yeah, I think if it was Jungkook saying that, it would bother. Right, Jungkook right, fans, right, though. right? But this is just like a random guy, so it yeah, matter. like a supermodel or something that everybody was following. That might bother the fans of the supermodel, but it really, yeah, it'd be, it'd be siloed out. Um, so of course, some people, this turned into the whole thing. Wait till she's 30 and you'll start calling her grandma. And other people, of course, this is like a comment, 
you know, like some people want to feel like they want to defend Asian women in this, uh, obviously referring to, I guess, the aging effects of like tanning booths and things like that. I don't know if that's an old, outdated stereotype or it's still relevant. Um, somebody was just saying that, uh, you know, obviously this dude was joking, but he probably was like half joking about being just like a tall Asian. Because he's like, what type of Asian are you? He's like, I'm a tall Asian, not like a short Asian. That, that is a funny answer. It's a ridiculous answer. Lee arrogant answer, but it's funny. Do you think the tall Asian guys are getting super cocky in 2023? I don't know how tall you'd have to be to be super cocky. I feel like you'd have to be tall and good looking to be cocky. I will say this though. I think that anytime you have physical traits that cut against the larger narrative of negative flaws against your community, you do feel special. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. I think some of them are. Something with the good hair, a white so, girl so. with a big butt, whatever. Yeah. Tall Asian guy. Uh, somebody said, yeah, that's interesting that this guy said that because most white girls don't like Asian guys. Yeah, obviously, I don't think these guys are cleaning up in the white girl section, but I'm sure they, they've dated some. I know. think more white girls or more non-Asian girls in general are open to Asian guys every year, though. Yeah. But true. I don't think it, like, all of a sudden went from here to here. It probably is, like, yeah. inching over, notching over. Somebody said, this question is stupid to begin with. There are, tr are attractive people in all races. If she's bad, she's bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. think that's true, right? Um and somebody said, man, this guy doesn't even want to admit that he's Chinese because he's kind of like, I'm just like a tall Asian, bro. I'm Asian. Well, I'm would Asian. you say that he typifies what would be the proudest type of Chinese guy? Like, are you shocked that he's not that I, proud? I feel like this guy is really tapped into like that Riz God, no cap, no keezy type of lane. Mm -hmm. And in that lane, I wouldn't say that Chinese, being Chinese necessarily has the most cachet right. because Chinese are not, they're known for like not right, being right. like that. Right, right. So he's right, probably right. like, Trying not to be ashamed of it, but not like repping it because he don't he doesn't want it to affect his like riz or clout points. So David, in the broccoli cut lane. So David, are videos like this going to fuel some type of Asian woman versus Asian guy comment war, or do you think the Asians just don't they just don't think like that? So it's not going to be that bad. Well, I think on uh, clearly on this Instagram page, it did spark a little bit, like a tiny, tiny. But skirmish. Asian guys were kind of. It wasn't like. Clearly, guys versus girls. Yes, yes, like yes. Guys. Because it's not clear that Asian women, to be honest, care about this in in any sort of large number. Yeah, at least no. I think a lot SEO of Asian is. girls don't care about this video, so they're not. They don't care about his opinion. Right, because maybe they just. It is what it is. I mean, like they, in a way, they hold the leverage, and no matter how much one Asian guy or you know a taller Asian guy like wields his leverage, it's not gonna necessarily. I guess yeah. change like. The way things have been for like a hundred years. I guess he didn't go into detail and start listing like attributes of Asian women that he hates because that would be ultra disrespectful. What do you think about all these videos that are going viral right now? It's not just, you know, this channel, Andrew. A lot of Gen Z kids are doing controversial interviews. Uh, there's OF stars that are like going hyper viral on uh, non-Asian podcasts. Then yeah. they go back and do the Asian Asian podcast. It's like just a whole different generation it, of like it, social media yeah. Asian American crop. Yeah. It's kind of like Asians unleashed, I guess. But like the only Asians you want to hear from are the ones who are out and about, you know, they're, they're out in the streets. They're out really outside. Right. They're like really, interview drunk people at a rave or something. Yeah, like, And it is true. Like if you look like a typical Asian person that hasn't experienced much in their life, I don't think a lot of people are going to find your opinion interesting. Right, because right. you're going to give, like, a I'm in front of the college professor opinion right. or something. Right, they just want to see Asians say stuff off the cuff that are that's inappropriate and controversial. Yeah, and there's probably more content available now, obviously, on TikTok, et cetera, yeah. other platforms of that than ever. Hey, guys, let us know what you guys think in the comments section below. Is everybody acting like rice gum? Is it good? Is it bad? In a way, I'm happy to see them just attack, but I wish that... They would try to maybe change the narratives within the community rather than just like purposely cut against them to go viral because anytime you cut against the narrative, it just happens to go viral because it's something that people wouldn't expect to see and is like titillating to an audience. But anyway, that's just the mechanics behind it. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. I think there's valid points on all sides. Until next time, we the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.